the second uh, reaction exhibiting by the carboxylic acid is formation of acyl chloride formation of acyl chloride this can be done by using three methods first one is tcl3 second one is tcl5 and the third one is socl2 phosphorus trichloride phosphorus pentachloride and with a thionyl chloride among all these three this one is the mostly happening one so let's see how it is going to happen r3 double bond oh if it reacts with pcl3 r c double bond oh if it reacts with the pcl5 r c double bond oh if it reacts with socl2 let's see what are the products going to form in all the three reactions one is one product is common that is acyl chloride but what about the by products let's see that one uh, acyl chloride we'll get here and here also acyl chloride here also acid chloride sorry acid chloride sorry sorry acid chloride common product is acid chloride only so let's next see what are the by products uh, if to balance this one if we five okay in this case uh, See three times H three P O three is going to form here. Means phosphorus acid. What is this one? Phosphorus acid, and this is in liquid form. With P C L five byproducts are P O C L three. This is phosphoryl chloride. Phosphoryl chloride. and hcl this is liquid and hcl will be formed this is a gas when this reacts with the thionyl chloride socl2 acid chloride will get plus so2 plus hcl for this so2 this is a gas and this hcl is also a gas so if uh, carboxylic acid reacts with pcl3 or pcl5 or socl2 basic major product is acid chloride only but seeing the by product in with uh, pcl3 it is going to form phosphorus acid pcl which is a liquid with pcl5 it is going to form one gaseous atom gaseous molecule and one with uh, socl2 two gases will be liberated among all these three socl2 reaction with thionyl chloride is the best one so let's see the mechanism involved between the reaction um, carboxylic acid and socl2 so socl2 socl2 so what about this s it is surrounded with oxygen and as well as chlorine so both are more electronegative ones so obviously this sulfur will be electron deficient one as oxygen and chlorine also both are more electronegative ones obviously this sulfur needs electron so it is electron deficient one so keeping this one in mind let's see the mechanism so obviously the electrons goes here this is this became electron deficient this oh lone pair of electrons oxygen helps the sulfur by giving the lone pair of electrons to sulfur and forming a such bond r c double bond o 
O H S O minus C L and C L R R C double bond O C double bond O O H this is linked with this O H is linked with S C L I have written here and C L here as the electrons goes out to this oxygen obviously it attains negative charge and as it donates the electrons to sulfur C oh sorry O positive. So what happens next? The here hydrolysis water molecule comes here. So what happens here? Again, the oxygen gives back its electrons, and as the Cl is a good leaving group, goes out easily. So what happens here? R C double bond O O plus. This is remains as it is. As this is a good leaving group, a Cl is going out. The oxygen, oxygen minus will again gives back the electrons to sulfur, forming a double bond between sulfur and oxygen, and the Cl as it is. Now the left out Cl will come into the picture. So what happens here? This Cl minus. Satisfy the positive nature of this oxygen, and afterwards this Cl and H goes out as HCl. So R C double bond O O S double bond O Cl. First of all, it uh, attacks the oxygen O positive. To satisfy this positive nature of this oxygen, then HCl goes out as minus HCl, leaving the leaving such type of compound. Again, the same thing. What happens? Oxygen again attracts the electrons towards itself. Again, Cl minus will come here and helps the C C positive one. As electrons goes out to the oxygen atom, obviously this carbon atom. Attains positive charge, then Cl comes and attaches to this carbon. So what happens here again? R C double bond O C L plus, and this one goes out. S how it goes out? S double bond O O C L. As it is going out along with the electrons, O minus. Now, this is our acid chloride. We got our acid chloride by the reaction of SOCl, thionyl chloride. Then, what are the byproducts here? As this chlorine is a good leaving agent, it goes out very easily. So, these electrons. Comes in between sulfur and oxygen. So what going to happen here? As we are conducting this one in the H plate, this Cl minus goes to this H plate, forming HCl, and this SO2 goes out. So both are gases. So with the thionyl chloride, acid chloride, and HCl and SO2, these both are gases. So with this. We can distinguish the reactions between or carboxylic acids with different types of things like PCl3, PCl5, and SOCl2. This is the reaction mechanism involved behind this. Mm -hmm.